And I'm Madeline. And we're your anchors for BTV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Thursday, February 25th. It is National Chili Day, and it is a silent reading day. Don't forget to take the Learn More magazine quiz by tomorrow night. Log on now. Today's lunch menu is pasta bowl with garlic toast, honey dog, corn dog, regular spicy chicken patty, BLT chef salad with egg, hammer turkey, green beans, and baked potato wedges. In national news, all her life, Virginia McLaurin wanted to see an African-American president. She finally got to meet President Obama. The 106-year-old woman was so excited that she broke out into a dance and Michelle Obama joined in. Virginia McLaurin? How are you? I'm fine. Oh, it's so nice to see it's you. It's an honor. It's an honor. You want to say hi, Michelle? Yes. Hold on, man. I don't know if I did. She's 106. No, you are not. You are so, not. Well, you got to slow down. Oh, my goodness. I, I want to be like you. when I don't want to be like you. She's dancing. Come on. Oh, my goodness. So what's, what's the secret to, to, the to still dancing at 106? <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. We're so happy to have you here. And look at those nails. Look at those nails. Yes, sir. I thought I, I would never live to get in the white Well, you, you are, are right here. here. I tell you, you well, are I here. am so happy. We are happy to have you. Oh, like Look at him. Hey. Right there. Like, like, That's me. Yes. <laughs> and I'm here to celebrate black history. That's exactly Yeah, right. that's what I'm here. That's right. Well, we're glad to have you here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have just made our day. You know that? That energy, man. You made my day. No okay. case. In a recent Tennessee car crash, a Bible miraculously survived a car explosion. Here is CNN with a report. Once he hit that pole, it just went up in flames. A Jeep completely up in flames on the Ridgeway exit off 385. Everybody just started going in their car getting stuff to bust the windows. I would say we got to get this man out of his car. Witnesses say the Jeep was driving eastbound on 385 when he was sideswiped by another car pushing him down a hill and into this pole. Moments later, flames came through the hood of the car. Find anything but a gallon of water, so I went back to try to wet him so if the fire got inside the car, maybe it wouldn't burn him as bad or keep him as moist as he could possibly be. They tried to find a fire extinguisher, but were unsuccessful. Moments later, a man ran over with a jack iron and broke through the window. Hey, we're going to cut that seatbelt. So somebody to go find something to cut the seatbelt. He appeared to have been completely trapped in the driver's seat because the steering wheel was pressed up against him in the chest. Witnesses carried the man to safety, and moments later, loud popping noises came from the car, a noise they say they won't forget. I said this car's gonna blow, Lord, please let us get this man out of here. The driver was taken to Regional 1 in non-critical condition, but a sight that brought tears to many was this Bible, the only thing left in a completely burned up vehicle sitting on the front seat. So that is a God. So if you don't believe, I don't know what to say. And now to Josh to the sports and weather update. Today's weather will be a high of 33 and a low of 24. Sports fact, a hockey puck weighs .38 pounds. Sports news, the girls basketball game against Eastwood was canceled. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Josh. LC Dance Marathon students will be selling orange leaf frozen yogurt during lunch tomorrow. All money raised will be given to Riley Hospital for Children. Don't forget to bring money so you can enjoy orange leaf and help the kids at Riley. The Boys Across team will hold a call-out meeting Monday, February 29th after school in Mr. Bergman's room, A115. A Boys interested in playing this spring need to attend this meeting. No experience necessary. Students can be picked up by 445 in the main entrance or ride it the activity bus home. 
The Boys of Cross team will also hold a parent meeting info meeting next Wednesday, March 2nd at 5.15 in the cafeteria. Students interested in playing this spring near 210 with a parent to sign up and receive important information about the upcoming season. Attention girls interested in playing soccer next fall. You are invited to the weekly open facility workouts with the LC coaching staff. There are Thursdays at 8 p.m. at LC. Sign up outside the athletic office each week. Students in a runner sport must wait until the season ends to attend. Here is a short promotional video about Elite Gaming Live. Be sure to stop by the front office today to sign up for the new club. It is free for students to participate and be on either Tuesdays or Thursdays when activity buses are here to take you home. Here are a few students to talk about the show. Here are a few students to talk about the Chicago trip. Hi, I'm Kaylin. And I'm Liberty. This year's AVID class is setting up a trip to the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago for 8th graders only. The due date for the permission slips is May 10th. Try to turn in your permission slips as soon as possible. Space is limited. You can find permission slips in Student Services, the main office, and the library. We will also be handing them out during C&D lunch. The trip costs $65, and you can get a payment plan if needed. You will also need to bring at least $20 for lunch. In order to qualify in this fourth quarter, you cannot get any Fs, no referrals, and no more than two red slips as of now. Hope to see you on the trip. Now here are two seventh grade students to talk about a recent Black History Month project where students persuaded classmates of who would be a good candidate to be on the stamp. On Jesse Jackson because he is a great advocate for black rights. He went back for over the past few decades. He's been preaching to for black equality and for just all equality. And he's done multiple projects and different things to help African Americans come through. And so he's inspired lots of people to be brave and to do things that they could have never thought they've done before. Well, I did my stamp, I'm doing my stamp project on Ruby Bridges because she was a brave young six-year-old girl that went to an all-white school at a young age and in that time, which was a very scary thing. So she was brave enough to go to an all-white school, as I said earlier, and she unified, like, and helped encourage unified children, whites and blacks, to go to schools together and do stuff together as a group of people instead of just sep separating them in segregation. Students, pre please bring your laptop to college prep classes tomorrow to verify with your teacher that you have a working laptop. Our Black History Month fact today is the earliest protests against slavery came from the Quakers in 1688. Interesting fact. It takes 8.5 minutes for light to get from the sun to, to the earth. On this day in history, 1938, Miami Drive-In debuts. Riddle of the day, what is something... Riddle of the day, what is something you will never see again? What? Yesterday. Quote of the day. The day will come when history will speak. Africa will write its own history of glory and dignity. Prateris Lumumba. Nanima Sand with the rest of your morning announcements. Have, Have a great, great day, day, Bruins. Bruins. Good morning, Belzer students, and I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about writing prompts on ISTEP. As you know, ISTEP is next week and is quickly approaching. When you are faced with a writing prompt, please make sure you read the prompt carefully, read all of the directions, go back to the passage and mark up important facts that you need to know, Look at what the question is asking you. My suggestion, if there are bullet points where it's saying make sure to include, think of those as your paragraph framework, and maybe each of those should be a paragraph. 
And don't forget, after you're done writing and citing your evidence, you need to go back and look over your writing, adding in missed punctuation, fixing capitalization errors, checking for misspellings, because sometimes our brains work faster than our hands, and when we think we've written something down, we may have missed it. Thanks. Have a good day. <clears throat> good morning, Belzer Middle School. This is Mr. Landers here with a couple quick announcements. First off, for 8th graders, if you have not turned in your blue scheduling sheet for Lawrence Central, please do that as soon as possible. Because what happens if you don't turn in a sheet? They pick your classes for you. And they'll pick the classes they have the most room, which means you'll get the classes nobody else wants. So make sure you get that in as soon as possible. Most of you have already turned it in, so good job on that. I've already shipped them over to LC, and they're already working on your schedules for next year. The final announcement is for Mr. Harsha. He wants every student in the building to make sure you take your computer fully charged to college prep tomorrow. The teachers will be walking around checking to make sure you have it and that it's charged and operational and it works. Uh, there will also be an assignment you'll have to do which will be for grades. So make sure in your best interest, hint, hint, have your computer fully charged in college prep. All right, Belzer, have a great day.